job. Celebrity Apprentice. Premieres January 3rd on Global. Tonight on News Final. Unstable and unpredictable. An ice jam in Prince George forces officials to issue more evacuation orders. Burned out before Christmas, three families lose everything in a fire. And a severe winter storm paralyzes eastern Canada and parts of the U.S. Live from Global British Columbia, News Final with Ann Drua. Good evening. A state of emergency remains in effect as officials try to deal with a massive ice jam and flooding in Prince George. Tonight, six more evacuation orders have been issued, bringing the total to 56. The good news is the jam is shrinking, but officials warn it could still be a few days before residents are allowed back home. Catherine Urquhart has the very latest. High volume pumps are most strong winds caused several BC ferry delays and cancellations today. On Vancouver Island, wind gusts reached more than 100 kilometers an hour, knocking down trees, causing power outages and other problems. Czech News reporter Kendall Hansen has more. Mother Nature shows country a major snowstorm is pummeling Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada tonight. In Toronto, up to 40 centimeters has fallen. The blizzard has caused treacherous road conditions. A woman was killed near London, Ontario. She was struck by a passing plow as she stopped under a highway overpass to clean her windshield. In Montreal, up to 50 centimeters of snow is expected to fall. Meanwhile, at Toronto's Pearson International Airport, over 200 flights were canceled, leaving travelers stranded, some forced to settle in for the night. The cancellations are affecting air travel at YVR, so check with your airline. And back here at home, a fire has destroyed a home in Richmond, leaving three families with little more than the clothes on their backs tonight. The owners living upstairs lost everything. But as Darlene Heideman tells us now, if not for the quick action of one family member alerting the tenants downstairs, lives could also have easily been lost. When family members returned to the Richmond home this morning. All over. Uh, so all over the office. ...to fall across the U.S. Midwest and barrels its mute for millions of Americans caught in a wicked winter storm. The same storm system paralyzing parts of eastern Canada is dumping tons of snow in many states along the eastern seaboard, and drivers are getting the worst of it. Two... ...winter of a major medical shortage is now back in service. Atomic Energy of Canada says the reactor was global shortage of isotopes used in cancer tests and other medical treatments in Canada and around the world. A milestone today in Iraq as British forces formally handed over control of the southern region of Basra to Iraqi forces. This means half of the country's 18 provinces are now under Iraqi government control. A change of tactics by the Writers Guild of America may kickstart talks to end their six-week strike. Instead of negotiating with the alliance of motion picture and television producers, it will instead approach each individual production company to see if it can reach separate deals to get its... Popular social networking site Facebook has launched a lawsuit against an internet porn company. Facebook alleges the numbered Canadian company, which does business online under the name Slick Cash, hacked into its computers and tried to access the personal information of users. Facebook claims that for two weeks last June, the defendants attempted to access Facebook's servers at least 200,000 times. Coming up, Christy Gordon and your full weather forecast for the week ahead. And then from hot rodders to heroes. Mike McCardle. Walmart isn't. Body. We wanted our dishes. Started off not too badly, and then it <laughs> was all downhill from there. Mm -hmm. Windy <laughs> conditions, up to yeah. 100 kilometers an hour on the island. Yes, absolutely. It's all starting to ease off, though, and as this system moves further inland tonight, we're expecting just showers. Temperatures, though, are going to cool off. We're into a whole different air mass, and so we do have the possibility of wet flurries. So keep that in mind for higher elevations overnight tonight. That means on the island and through the lower mainland. In behind that, two more low-pressure systems. That's choose 
Tuesday and Wednesday with periods of rain. So let's have a look. Quick look at our national weather and then I'll show you uh, the regions. I wanted to show you Toronto and Ottawa, Montreal all finally getting a break tomorrow uh, as that system pushes further east and Halifax just expecting a few light flurries, sunshine expected in through the prairies. Now, BC Peace River, you are expecting light flurries for your day tomorrow. Uh, windy conditions, so expect a bit of a wind chill. Your high isn't too bad though. It's minus three degrees, too bad in terms of cool weather. White Horse, five cents centimeters of snow expected for your area. Windy conditions, so drop those temperatures down another five degrees, and that's what it will feel like. North Coast, have all your temperatures have also dropped down, so wet flurries or showers, and that's even by the water in areas like Prince Rupert. Caribou Central Interior, not a bad day. A 40% chance of flurries for you with some sunny breaks in there. And for the Columbia Kootenai region, you're looking at 10 to 15 centimeters, and that's through your day tomorrow, mostly on western sections of the mountain ranges. Thompson Okanagan, just a light dusting, but you can expect that on the mountain passes so watch that for driving. Whistler looking at 15 to 20 centimeters overnight tonight so keep that in mind. More expected tomorrow as well. Vancouver Island most of your winds have eased looking at showers and then rain into your Thursday or sorry Tuesday and Wednesday and that's the same for us. So windy conditions overnight mostly 50 to 60 kilometers an hour by the water. Tomorrow just showers expected. The possibility of wet flurries by at higher elevations for the morning commute. Tuesday Wednesday rain a bit of a break and on Thursday but we're right back into rain Friday, Saturday. All right, thanks, Christy. Well, back in the day, hot rods and those who drove them were considered a little dangerous, a little rough. But times change and people mature, and those wild and crazy teenagers that many adults disapproved of at the time can even grow up to be heroes. Here's Mike McArdle. When they came down the road in the old days, of course, and highlights including the ducks, sand sharks, San Jose extending its road wind streak. Moral health. Its patented sonic technology creates dynamic cleaning action, getting deep between the teeth and along the gum line for a healthier mouth, guaranteed. Sonicare, the sonic toothbrush used and recommended by more dental professionals worldwide. Philips Sonic, your body. Welcome back, Barry is here. We're starting off with some uh, NHL action. Yes, the Canucks resting today, mm -hmm. but uh, the big story down in Anaheim tonight. Thanks, Dan. The Anaheim Ducks.